Hello children, I am Mrs. Madhavi and today we will be discussing the topic elements, compounds and mixtures. We will be dealing with the elements, the definition of the elements, the classification of the elements and the symbolic representation of elements. And we will also be doing the definition of the compound, the properties of a compound and also we will be doing the characteristics of a compound and also we will be doing the chemical formulae. So basically we can define matter based upon the physical state. So matter is defined or matter is classified based on the physical state This you must have learnt in your lower classes, right? So matter is classified based on the physical state as solid, liquids and gases. There is yet another classification of matter and this classification of matter is based upon the chemical composition. So based upon the chemical composition matter can be divided into pure and impure substances. The pure substances can further be divided into elements and compounds and impure substances we have the mixtures okay now you may have seen it uh, water and ethanol water and ethanol are both liquids at room temperature both are colorless yet Though the physical state of these two substances that is water and ethanol is same but they are different, their properties are different. So why is it that their properties are different? It is because they differ in their chemical composition. Now let us take the example of sugar and salt. Both are white crystalline but Though the physical state is same, the color may be same, but yet their properties are different. Again, this difference in their chemical properties is because of the difference in their chemical composition. Now let's take the example of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Both are colorless gases, but still they differ so much in their properties. Oxygen is required for respiration. We cannot imagine life without oxygen and in fact oxygen also supports burning but carbon dioxide on the other hand is not does not support burning and it basically it does not even is required for respiration in fact it is the product of respiration. So here these examples tell us that though the physical state of matter may be same, the appearance may be same but yet they are going to be different because they differ in their chemical composition. So what is that which determines the chemical composition of matter? It depends upon the type of particles. The chemical composition of matter depends upon the nature of particles.